K-12 online conference. I'm Alan Levine. I'm really happy to be here today. Uh, actually, I'm in Vermont on a beautiful, sort of beautiful, rainy day to talk about stories. Always about stories. Okay, hopefully that message means something to you. Sure did to me. But back to the stories. Amy Burva, an amazing creative force. Amazing. I gotta stop saying amazing, but Amy's amazing. And just black, pink, and white. What she draws and what she shares. She didn't just give me one story. She gave me ten. Ten stories. And they're all they're all worth listening to. But a lot of what Amy does in these stories is talk about, again, how she actively puts out messages, asks people to get involved in her projects, and when she was a teacher with her students. And so I'm just going to put one story in here of how Amy was teaching her students, and they were listening to TED Talks. And her practice of having her students do back channel conversations about the speakers during these videos. And what happens? Because the speakers sometimes listen and talk back. Again, it changes everything for these students to be heard. And it's pretty darn simple. Here, let Amy tell us about it. And the cool part was we would find out what the Twitter handles were of the speakers. And a couple of times, the speakers would actually write us back as we were watching. And this blew my students' minds away. Um, Dan, uh, Doug Rushkoff wrote us, I know, and John Ronson, who is brilliant and did one of my favorite TED Talks about uh, strange answers to the psychopath test. Um, he was kind enough to write my students as well. And it just it, it just brought a whole new level. I mean, it completely changed their view of, of what school could be. Ken Bauer, originally from Canada, but being a teacher in Mexico for the last 20 years, tells some great stories about both the influence of people suggesting him to try new things, and also what happens when he takes that as a leverage to go out and create connections with other people. Later that same year, I ran into John Bergman, uh, one of the pioneers in flip learning at our main campus in Monterey, had a great talk with him, and he said, Ken, you know, you 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 can need to like stir up flip learning here in Mexico. So so I thought, oh yeah, I'll I'll create a private Facebook group and 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 for our people here at the tech. And he said, no no no, you got to be public. You got to open this up to everyone. And you need to be the leader in 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 Mexico for flip learning. So and you know what? One thing leads to another, like a chain reaction. Ken gets involved in flip learning. He goes to conference. He meets a teacher educator named Brian Bennett. Brian Bennett's involved in DS one hundred six. Ken gets involved in DS-106, meets Jim Groon and myself and Brian Lamb. We start collaborating together, building connected courses together. All of a sudden, Ken is part of this pro great project that we're working on in Mexico at the University of Guadalajara. One thing leads to another if you put something into it. 